Okay, next we're going to do the arm. Just uncover down to the side. Bring the arm out a little bit. You want to put just enough oil on your hand to do the upper part of the arm first. Take her hand and tuck it under your ribs and hold it with your elbow just to kind of keep it out of the way so it doesn't flop around. You're doing most of the support with your hands. Get the oil on good and then on the bicep, little tiny circles, little kneading circles. Now lay the elbow down. And do the forearm. The way to do the forearm is to just imagine that you can divide the forearm into quarters. Divide it this way and this way. So holding on to the wrist, strip the muscle from the wrist to the elbow with your thumb, mm -hmm. right down that quarter. You like that, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now switch hands, hold her he wrist with your other hand and strip the muscle down the other quarter. Just like on the feet, you can spend a lot of time on the forearm and the hands. Now to do the other side of the arm, just flip it over. Do this quarter. Just a little less pressure on this part right here because you're going right over the bone. Now just do as much of the arm as you can. Just wrap your hand right around. going to be thinking about what you're going to do next. The very next thing you can do, it's in the perfect position to do it. Slide right on up here and go right into the wrist. Just like you did on the ankle. And just turn it over. From this position, hold the wrist, intertwine your fingers into theirs. Just like holding hands with them, go around in a circle, as far as you can extend it. Then, go in a reverse direction, the other way. so you're just nice and loose. It's just perfect. Now as you take your hand out of her fingers, don't just take it out. Slowly go up her fingers. And go back down again. 
to it again. You're squeezing and stretching and massaging as you go up. From this position, go right into the palm. If you don't have the strength in your thumbs to do this, lay it down here and use your knuckles. back of the hand just like the top of the foot go right up between the tendons and wipe it off wipe your hand off really good because you've got one more technique to do with the hand and you need as much friction as you can get to do it I need to wipe mine off as much as possible. Take your fingers, your index fingers, put it in between the thumb and the index finger, and on the other hand, stick it between the little finger and the ring finger. On the back of the hand, you bring your fingers together until they just touch. On the front of the hand, you lay your thumbs and the palms against her hand and you spread it open. Just, just like peeling an orange. You like that one, huh? And when I'm all done, I just kind of hold it and squeeze it. And gently lay it down. And then go on to the other arm. 